binary. That's what we'll be going into now. Now there's three types uh, that we'll be going over, and that's binary, bar binary, and then what they call blobs. There's multiple blobs, so I'm just writing blobs for now because I don't feel like writing more. So we'll go over binary first. Binary is very similar to what we already went over, char. The only thing different is that it will take what you enter into it and store it as a, uh, it'll transform it into binary and it does not have a character set. And a character set is just an option of possible characters that can be entered. So binary is just basically a bunch of ones and zeros that computers use to communicate and understand programs that are given to them. So an example would be... <laughs> Get it? <laughs> LOL. Oh. But anyways, um, basically binary is a byte string rather than a character string. Whereas char would just be like dog as characters with let's say a character set I always use this when I'm referencing character sets UTF-8 which is a very popular character set binary on the other hand does not have a character set because it's just ones and zeros ones and zeros and ones and blah 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 you get the point now when you specify the size of a binary which is in parentheses after it is in bytes, not in characters. So if it's 40, that means there's a 40 byte limit. And remember how with a uh, char that if you didn't fill use all of the requested spots, it would pad it with spaces and then remove it on retrieval. When binary removes spaces, it just replaces them with this which is just basically a zero and then it re uh, retains them when you retrieve them so it does not remove them for you var binary is sort of like oops sort of like varchar so it's the same concept as uh, binary and char just think variable length now now take what you learned from var binary and binary and apply it to tiny blob all the way up through big blob. They're sort of the equivalent to text. So we have text here, and then tiny text, and so forth. The only thing is, they don't have a character set, and they store everything as binary. That's all you have to know. It's not that difficult. And remember, I'll always be posting uh, extra information in the descriptions below, and also some links to, such as the manual, which is the best place to get this kind of information and if you want to learn more about MySQL you want to read the MySQL manual that's why uh, I'll usually be referencing everything I go over in the description so you can click it and then back up what you learned with the manual information